Yo, so you lot have clicked the video because you have no clue what to do with your 4,600 EAFC points. I've got you covered, man. Going to go through all the options as well as telling you what I will do with those 4,600 FIFA points or FC points, whatever you want to say. If this sounds interesting, smash that like button and hop on that subscribe button because we are going to pop off in EAFC 24, man. Trust me. So the first thing or the first option that you can do with your 4,600 FC points is the online draft or the offline draft. Both drafts cost the same, 300 FC points each. Whether you go for the online option or offline option just, um, depends on how good you are on FIFA. If you use all points on the drafts, you can complete 15 drafts. If you are confident to do online drafts, do the online drafts if you're good enough. But if you're not confident, do the offline drafts and select the difficulty is comfortable for you to win every single game. You will not get good rewards as online, but there will be guaranteed rewards as you're going to win the final every single round. I mean, every single draft. Also, one draft is 18 minutes long. 18 times 4 is 72 minutes, which equals one draft. So 15 drafts is 1,080 minutes, which is equivalent to 18 hours. Not everybody has this amount of time because everybody has work, uni, school, whatever. So it will be different for everyone. This moves me on to option two. You can spend all the FC points on 7.5k packs. You can buy 30 7.5k packs as they only cost 150 FC points each. And this will only take you around 30 minutes if that. After you spend all these points, I would recommend you to keep all the meta players that you pack as they will triple in value. After you spend all these points, I would recommend that you keep all the meta players that you pack as they will triple in value over the next few weeks. Also, sell everything that you have that you do not need and make the coins liquid and reinvest those coins into meta players as their price will shoot as I've already said. On the other hand, if you do not have enough coins for this, you can always do the bronze pack method. This has been in the game since 2009 or 2010 bro. This is where you open a lot of bronze packs with your coins and you sell everything. This is a good method to make coins as there are a lot of SPCs especially during the start of FIFA which requires all of the bronze cards, especially bronze cards with good nations like Brazil, English, all of that stuff. In conclusion, which option will I pick? Personally, I will spend all the 4,600 EFC points on online foot drafts. This is because I know I will win at least 95% of them, resulting in great packs and a lot of coins. However, I recommend for you guys to choose whatever you are comfortable with. As other players are different to you, everybody has different circumstances and different skill gaps and skills. So it's going to be different for everyone. For example, if this is your first EAFC game or FIFA game, whatever you want to call it, you are not going to go for the online drafts because you're going to lose every single game and literally get a 5k pack after you lose. So do not do this option. If you're a player that's played FIFA for like 2-3 years and you get like 14 wins of foot champs, you want to go for the online drafts because you might win like 2-3 games every draft and get decent rewards. If you're a very, very good player, you can win every single game just like me and get like possibly 100k pack, stuff like that. And if you're like in between a noob and someone that's decent at the game you can do 50 50 split spend it on packs and spend it on drafts and see what you get this is a banger vid man we're gonna pop off in eafc 24 man trust me hit that sub button hit that like button and i'm out man so before i end the video let me summarize everything that i've said in this video so what should you spend your eafc 24 points on i cannot tell you exactly what to do but i can advise you if you are struggling to make a decision follow me on instagram anohise beast and DM me and I will gladly help you. Ultimately, whatever makes you happy. However, this is the time you want to make the most of your coins. As it is the easiest time to make coins at the start of the year. If you want to play online draft, play online draft. Because you're enjoying yourself whilst winning around maybe 1 to 2 or 3 games out of 4. Then do this bro. It doesn't matter as you're enjoying yourself whilst earning decent rewards. And the luck may even pay out in the packs. If you hate drafts or playing the game then go for the packs. Go for the packs. Through these packs, you will be able to get players for SPCs, objectives, etc, etc. This will set you up nicely for the start of FIFA and could possibly put you a few months ahead of everyone else in the game. If you are a trade, this will, this will help you for trading as well. This will help you get the perks that you need to do the trading. This might be liquid coins to invest in and hold assets or you might decide to do the bronze pack method. It is literally up to you. Personally, I would get the coins and invest in meta players. What do I mean by meta players? These are players like Colo Moani, Valverde, Carl Walker, Rashford, etc. Get these players for cheap and hold them for around one month and they will rise to 200k easily, bro, I'm telling you. If you somehow get lucky in your packs through the draft or the 7.5k packs and you get someone like Mbappe, don't sell him. 
as you'll easily go for 3 million coins in a month. Hope this has helped you out, man.